welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by and if you are here for the first time feel at home please consider subscribing to my channel and turning on your notification as i have new uploads every week now today i'll be showing you how to make this delicious tasty kachumbari that is easy to make within a few minutes but first To make your kachumbari, you actually don't even need all these veggies. You just need some onions, tomatoes, and some lime. But um, if you wish to, you can add a few other things. I'll be adding some avocado because I really love avocados. And also paprika, which is completely optional, so you don't have to add it. And sometimes i do add um, cucumber to it as well so there's no specific veggies that you can use for your kachumbari sometimes i even grate carrots to it so you can always you know alternate the veggies the way you want it so for today i'll just be using onions tomatoes paprika the lime and some avocado now i'll wash this up and let's get started so before I chop the onions into your bowl, uh, add some hot water or even warm water but make sure that it's not cold and then add a little bit of salt to it. Mix that up and so when you have chopped your onions you'll add them into this warm or hot water with salt this will help uh, to remove that strong taste from the onions and smell as well so please do not skip this step alternatively you can add a little bit of vinegar to your hot water and add the onions as well so I'll chop the onions add them into my water and rinse uh, that water off and I usually just run through one more rinse with cold water just to make sure that that strong taste from the onions is completely washed out so there's no particular rule on how you should cut your veggies sometimes I do cut them in circular Sometimes I do slice it and make it in slices. Sometimes I also do make it, uh, cut them into little cubes. So you can always cut your onions and tomatoes in whatever, you know, uh, shape you want. So I don't know what I'll do today for my kachumbari. Maybe I should do them in small cubes. I think I'll do them in small cubes or circles. <laughs> So I think I'll do them in circles. So I'm cutting them into thin slices. So now that uh, the onions are done, I'll add them into my water. Just make sure that you separate your onions and let it just soak in that salty water. So I'll pour this water out and rinse it as well with clean water still with uh, no water with no salt and you can see the juices from the onions are coming out and you can see that the color is changing so that strong taste and the strong st uh, smell of the onions will not be there so I'll go ahead and rinse this real quick so now that I've rinsed it as well with uh, more water
here so it's time to add the rest of the veggies so next I'm going to cut my tomatoes still into thin slices because that's uh, the shape I'm going for uh, sorry circular So now that the uh, tomatoes are done, I'm going to add them to my bowl of onions. So I'm going to chop my green bell pepper. I've already uh, removed the seeds inside because I just want it to be circular as well. So chop that. So now that they are done, I'm going to add them to my bowl as well. So here are the veggies. I also went ahead to cut the avocados and add some salt according to your taste. And then I squeezed my lemon. So add the lemon juice. This will also help uh, the avocados not to discolorize. So add your lemon or lime. Remember, if you don't have, you can always use vinegar. And just mix your salad up. Just be gentle so that the avocados don't end up mushy. And the reason why I love to add different kind kind of veggies is also for you know the beautiful color. You have the purple, you have the red, you have the green from the paprika and the avocados, and it tastes so so delicious. You can have this over some grilled meat, some yamachoma, uh, fish, tilapia. So this is such an easy kachumbari to make and you'll definitely enjoy and it's ready to serve and so there you have it you can see how beautiful it is and you can store it in your fridge as well because of the lime the avocados will not discolorize and it looks so beautiful so yeah I really hope you did enjoy this recipe if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't and i will see you on my next one till next time bye bye